This is day 25 of my six mark challenge for AQA GCSE Science. In the run up to the GCSE exams, each day from Monday to Saturday, I'm posting a new video with a six mark question so that you can use these to structure your revision and see how you're getting on. You can find a link in the description below to each week's questions and also a playlist with all of the previous videos that I've done in this series. Now, usually on a Monday, I would post a question that's for biology paper one. And this, strictly speaking, isn't a paper one question because it includes meiosis, which is a paper two topic. But mitosis does come up in paper one. And so I think this is still a useful one to include. Now, usually at this point, I'd start off by reminding you that this isn't an essay question. Your spelling and grammar doesn't really matter. But actually, there are certain pairs of words which are so similar that you have to spell them perfectly. Otherwise, your examiner doesn't know necessarily which one you mean. And meiosis and mitosis is one of those pairs of words. So it is really, really important that you use the wording in the question to double check your spelling and make sure you're getting full credit for everything that you said. However, the point still stands that this is not an essay question and you aren't going to get marks for writing in full sentences. So I would strongly encourage you to give your answer in the form of bullet points or numbered lists or better yet, a table, because this is a comparison question and tables are perfect for where we're wanting to compare two aspects. You need to make sure that you are answering the full question. So here we've specified that you must include where mitosis and meiosis occur and also what the products being made are. So make sure you're doing both of those. Now, if you haven't done so already, pause the video and give yourself six minutes to answer this six mark question. I would definitely want to lay out my answer to this question in the form of a table. And this is going to have three main advantages. The first one is that it allows me to compare the two types of cell division using as few words as possible, and that's going to save me time in the exam. The second thing is that it makes it really easy for my examiner to see that I've made clearly equivalent statements about meiosis and mitosis. So I get full marks for my comparison and nothing gets lost because I've waffled on for pages of sentences. The third thing is that it means the only place that I need to write mitosis and meiosis is once each at the top of each column. And so it far minimizes the risk that I misspell one of those words and end up not getting credit for having made a really good biological point because my examiner didn't know which type of cell division I thought it applied to. Now, before I get going thinking about differences, I might just start out by saying these are two different types of cell division. And then I'm going to think about why are the cells doing those types of cell division. So mitosis, we know, is used for growth and repair, and it's used to make more body cells or somatic cells, whereas meiosis is used to make gametes or sex cells. Mitosis occurs all over the body, whereas meiosis occurs in the ovaries and the testes, or you might have just said the reproductive organs. Now, if I then start to think about the products that are made, the somatic cells or body cells that are made as part of mitosis are diploid. So they contain two copies of each chromosome, whereas the gametes are haploid. And that means that they contain half of the normal number of chromosomes that are found in a somatic cell. They only have one copy of each chromosome. The daughter cells, the new cells that are being made in mitosis, are identical to the parent cells, the starting cells that they were made from. Whereas in meiosis, since we've only got half the amount of DNA, clearly the gametes are not identical to the parent cells that they were formed from. Now, in terms of how these new cells are made, both of the types of division begin with the DNA being replicated. So it's absolutely fine in a compare question to be identifying ways in which they are the same as each other. They both start with that DNA replication stage. And then in mitosis, we're going to produce two cells per round compared to the four cells that are produced per round of meiosis. And the reason for the difference there is that mitosis just involves one division. So we double the DNA and then half it again as the cells split into two. Whereas in meiosis, there are two divisions and that's why we end up with half the normal amount of DNA. I might also want to include that mitosis is used for asexual reproduction, whereas meiosis is used for sexual reproduction. For an extended response question where it's level marked, you're always going to need to make sure that you've answered the full question in order to get those five or six marks. So here the question asked us to describe where mitosis and meiosis occur and also the products made. 
So therefore, in order to get five marks, you need to have covered both of those things. So that means you need to have said that mitosis occurs all over the body, whereas meiosis occurs in the reproductive organs. And you're going to need one of the statements about the products made. So that could be that you're making more body cells in mitosis or gametes in meiosis. It could be about the ploidy of those cells. It could be about them being identical and non-identical respectively to the parent cells. Or it could be about the fact that mitosis produces two cells in each round, whereas meiosis produces four. In order to get six marks, you're going to need to have made six different comparisons, and those are going to need to have included the location of these cell division types, and also, I think, at least two of those four possible options for differences between the products that are being made. Tomorrow's question comes from the final topic in AQA GCC Chemistry Paper 1. Don't forget, there's a link in the description below to all of this week's questions and also the playlist containing all of the videos in the series so far. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again tomorrow for day 26 of the Six Mark Challenge. If you found this video useful, then don't forget to like and subscribe for more GCC Science Revision videos coming soon.